This is challenge assessment six, summing op amp, take number two, or retake number one. This is created by Leo Edwards. Here is my theory, and you can see that I created a circuit diagram. I have voltage one, voltage two, and voltage three. You can also see that I have both resistance one, two, three, all going into my op amp. This is a non-inverting op amp. It is also ideal. As you can see, I use nodal to calculate my voltage output. To start, I created my two equations, then I solved for V plus. Once I found V plus, I plugged it into my other equation so I could solve for V out because V plus equals V minus. Once I found V output, that is what I use to calculate the highlighted region in my graphs or in my tables below. I did seven trials, all with different volts and some with different resistances. Like trial six and seven, I changed the resistors around. Moving on. Here is my experiment. As you can see in my experiment, the volt voltage output is also roughly double the voltage input, much like my calculations. You'll see it next. My face is covering it now. You'll see what the simulation looks like. The experiment being the same as the calculations is a good sign. I wanted to make sure I didn't get a fluke on the first trial, so I did it six other times. Moving on. Here on the simulation, I only posted one simulation photo of the circuit that I used. When I did different trials, I did change the values. I'll cover my face now so that you can see the simulation results. The simulation results are also very similar to the experiment and voltage output calculations. All of these are roughly double the voltage input, V plus. This is a good sign because that means that this is not a fluke and it is going the right way. Overall, regardless of our input voltage, the voltage output is roughly double it. And we can see this using experiment, simulation, and calculation by hand. 